Welcome to another quick tutorial in Blender. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to simulate blood explosion with flip fluids. First, set your render settings and the export format. Then go to flip fluids and add the domain. Now we can create the scene. Now go to add mesh and add a cube. Create the floor and the walls. And after you're done, go and add the obstacle flip fluid tag for each uh, cube. After we're done, we need to add a fluid emitter object. So go and add an icosphere. Now we have to resize and reshape the sphere. You can create any kind of shape. After we're done, we have to duplicate the shape two times. So this way the blood will collide when it will be emitted. And this way it will create the explosion effect. Okay, so now that we finished creating the shapes, we need to go to flip fluids and add inflow for each uh, shape. Go to inflow velocity and add a negative value. And set a keyframe while it is enabled. And one frame further, another keyframe while is uh, unable and that's only one frame of fluid emission now we are adding again the inflow velocity direction speed and add again two keyframes at one frame distance and we are doing the same thing for the last uh, shape and add uh, two keyframes and set the inflow velocity direction speed again towards the right sphere okay now that we are done we need to position the emitter in the flip fluid domain. Now select the flip fluid domain and we have to keyframe the viscosity and the thickness of our blood. And we have to enable sheeting effect, surface tension and viscosity. First, go to the frame you want the blood to start being sticky. Now to viscosity, set the value that works for you and set a keyframe while it is enabled. And set another keyframe while it is enabled. Now change the surface tension uh, value and also the sheeting strength value. Now we have to change the grid resolution. So I'm going to use 255. But you can go higher if you have a better computer. Perfect. Now we can bake it. Now that our bake is complete and the blood simulation uh, looks great. Now the last thing we have to do is uh, go and add the blood texture. And for that we have to select our blood simulation and go to Blender library and type blood. And you can select which one fits the best for you. And then you can set your scene and uh, add the lights and everything. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you for watching.